hi everyone so welcome back to my channel i'm gonna do like like a day tonight sort of thing um because i know like we're all obviously in quarantine at the minute but i'd say once like the lockdown's left out all of us will be out like with our friends like during the day like going away for the day and then maybe like coming back and then like going out that night or something certain things that you can do like just to make your makeup look like nice again or like blend it in um and make it like darker more glam and stuff like that for the evening time so i'm just gonna do um a video like that to show you some tips and tricks for a daytime look and then to a nighttime look so please keep watching and like subscribe comment and obviously thank you so much for all the support so far so i've already went in with my revolution soap brow just for my eyebrows um i actually videoed a brow tutorial there as well actually so i will pop that on my youtube now soon hopefully it'll be up before this video I have then went in and done my eyeshadow base. So I've went in with the P. Louise um, Shade 2 base and just with the Peaches and Cream brush, a uh, PC52. It's just like a wee concealer brush. And I've just um, tidied up underneath my eyebrows and just packed it on um, just to make sure I have like a really good eyeshadow base. So for um, a daytime look, so like not like a daytime look as in like going to the shop because like as if any of you have watched my q a there you know i don't wear makeup during the day so this would be like a makeup look like you'd be wearing like away for the day with your friends or like if you start going to the pub during the day or like going like going somewhere nice like during the day this is what i would wear and then like i would obviously glam it up and make it things darker and switch things up for later on but i have firstly just gone with a pc 11 pitch and cream brown into the p louise secret center palette and i'm going to use the shade flame to so just tap and off any excess and then just using that color right in the crease this is just like a wee brown color just in the crease and round it out to the outer corner so just continue to build up that colour. You don't want it to be too dark since this is your daytime glam. And then just with that brush, making sure that all the outer side of the shadow, so near to your brow, is all blended out. Just back and forward motions or circular motions. And with a light, as I've said in my q and I'm either like no glam or full glam. So like... Although this is during the day, I still want to look really nice. So just blend that out. Just continue to blend until you're happy with it. Next. I was enjoying that. I'll go in with a bigger fluffy brush. So from Spectrum, a B06 or B06, sorry. Just a really fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into the Secret Center palette again, just with the shade Dream Egg. So this orange shade. I need to make sure I tap that all off because that is quite pigmented. And just going in above um, that brown shade that we've used. Just with a really, really, really light hand because we don't want this to be too orange. As you can see, it's really pigmented. Now back in again with the first fluffy brush and just with absolutely no product on it, just blending them two colours together. I actually am going to go in with the shade Fling again. And I'm actually going to go in with a wee bronzer that I have from MAC. It's MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW43. It's just like a wee like, orangey bronzy colour. So just go in with Fling and then mix that wee bronzer colour as well. And just in between your two, your orange shade and your brown shade. So because this is a daytime look, I'm just going to go in the inner corner just with some more of that P. Louise base. And then I'm just actually going to set that just with a wee matte shadow flat fluffy brush. So I'm just going to use this with the P. Louise base. I'm just tapping that in the inner corner. Just on both sides. And then just to make sure that it's not too structured, I'm just going to go in and just fluff that out with that same brush.
then get in again with the first fluffy brush just with whatever you have left off just make sure it's a wee bit clean and has not very much product on it and just blend in between what you have just done now i'm going to go in with the wee be perfect palette um, it's the collaboration that they had with Makeup um, by Ja. It's a clientele palette. And I'm just going to go in with this wee bottom shade. It's sort of like a matte, like peachy, creamy colour. And it's in the shade Asha. Just with the same brush that I've used that P. Louise pigment on. I'm just going to go in with that and then pack it on where I've used the P. Louise base. I'm now gonna go in with just a wee fluffy brush I have. I think this is just like a like a wee brush I bought off eBay and just making sure all the shadow on the outer side near the brow and near the side of the face is all blended out. And then I'm gonna go in with the way um NYX um matte liquid liner. So start from halfway across your lid. And just get it as thick as you want. And whenever I'm not doing a wing, I literally stop it at the edge of my eye, as you can see. And then I always go thinner in towards the inner corner of the eye. Just make sure that you are blending the two thicknesses together. Then I'm just going to go ahead and coat my eyelashes with the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. Like coat them just so that your fake eyelashes will blend into your real ones. I always seem to go with the TL9. I know these have been used before but you can use them loads of times. Um, the TL9 from Tatty Lashes. They're so wispy but I feel like you can get away with them during the day. And then you can get away with obviously glamming them up a wee bit more for night time. So that's what I'm going to go in with now. I'm going to go off camera, do my eyeliner on this side and put some TL9 tatty lashes on. That would be all I would do for my eyeshadow for during the day. I know some of you think my eyelashes are probably crazy and mad. But like whenever I go full glam, like my eyelashes could be bigger than that. I'm going to go in and do my base and then um, I'll chat to you through what products I use. Prime my skin. I go in with the All Nighter um, Primer. This is like, I would do like two or three pumps. It's sort of like a wee like gel base. Really refreshing for the skin, really cooling and like will keep your makeup on all day. I'd say this would be better for people with dry skin because of like the feeling on your face like after you've it all rubbed in like it's it is quite tacky but it feels like quite hydrating as well therefore i think like those of you with like oily skin it might like slide off and not allow the products that you're about to put on stick to it yeah i'm gonna go in with the nars in the shade tahoe um i do have tan on as you can see um this will be probably slightly too dark for me so i'm gonna mix in my favorite drugstore um foundation which is the makeup revolution you've seen it a million times in my videos and um, full coverage foundation and this is in the shade f 8.5 to give my skin a wee bit of a glow i'm gonna mix the makeup atelier flv3 in with my foundation as well so I'm going to go in with a wee flat brush um, from MAC, it's a 190 and just take that product and put it all over my face. And then to blend all that foundation, I am going to go in with a PC15 brush from Peaches and Cream. And just blending all the way. Blend it in circular motions, but like don't go too heavy into your face, like just lightly in circular motions, just to make sure that everywhere on your face is covered um, with some sort of coverage. 
I find when you tap it in like you're gonna get the most full coverage that you can from that foundation however I just like to make sure that everywhere is covered first and then I'll start tapping in and then you will know if you need more product um, or if you have enough on your face Now because underneath my eyes are quite um, baggy today, I'm actually going to go in with the Pee Louise base in the shade 2, um, just for a wee bit extra coverage underneath the eyes. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do this step whenever I feel like underneath my eyes are quite baggy. I like to put like two concealers, one thicker and then one um, that's just going to lighten up that area. Tap into that product just with the wee um, BH Cosmetics um, brush. Packing that on right underneath um, where I think I'm quite dark circled or baggy. And then to highlight um, like my areas with concealer, I'm going to go with the NYX. Um, can't stop won't stop in the shade vanilla and I'm just going to pop that in the areas that I want to highlight so right underneath the eyes just my usual areas the forehead a little bit in the nose up above my lip and then my chin for this I like to go in with just a bigger um, fluffy blending brush um, from Peaks and Cream PC23 and just buff that all out so as you can see Yes, I've said this is for during the day, but it's obviously quite full on like glam. So if you're wanting to look really nice for like day drinking or something like that, or like even like a party or something during the day, barbecue, something like that, this is what I would sort of go make sure I get all these steps in. Just because if you're going to be applying your makeup then later on, you're not going to have to do all these steps again, you're just going to have to add like maybe your powders and stuff again. So when you have this full base, like with your creams and things like that, it's going to be easier to reapply like your powders and things on top later to make it a wee bit more dramatic. I know I look a bit crazy right now, but just going back in with the foundation brush, just to blend out um, any really highlighted areas cream contour with my favourite cream contour stick by Revolution, it's in shade F13. Um, I'm going to go in and just like deepen up my cheek with this way brush, it's like a dome pointed brush um, by Peaches and Cream, it's PC06, dabbing onto that product and then dabbing onto the hollows of the cheek. You can suck in or just do that, whichever you prefer. And just bring that like from the upper part of your ear just to like the end of your eyebrow. And then a little bit on your nose. And then I would like to do it up here um, just because my hairline is awful. So just dabbing that in, a little bit underneath here. Get to go in with my wee foundation brush and just blend that all together without any more product on this brush. Just to make sure that it's really seamless. No, this doesn't look like a during the day look, but. As I say, it's full glam and no glam. Just brush that in the holes of the cheek. And then you can buff it out. If you prefer not to cream contour or if you don't have these products at home, um, you can just skip this step. So now that I have all my creams and um, liquids on, I'm going to set that in place with the Air Spawn Powder. I'm with the um, Makeup Revolution Pro brush in 140. I'm just putting that in the lid and then swirling it round. Just dabbing it on the face. And a little bit down the neck. Mm. 
my skin would crease because it's so dry, especially underneath my eyes. So I will go in and set underneath my eyes just with a Wee Makeup Pro Store number nine brush, just with the same air spun powder and make sure like I'm not gonna crease under my eyes. And just let in that underneath your eye. But now I'm gonna finish off underneath the eyes um, cause during the day look, I'm literally just gonna go in with the Wee bronzer color I have on my That's literally all I'm going to use underneath my eyes and then go in with a wee bit of mascara. Now I'm just going to go in with a wee bronzer colour. Just going to go in again with that um, MAC NW43. Just with a really big powder brush, um, I'll use this one here, PC04 by Peaches and Cream. So I want um, my contour to be really structured so that's why I just use a big massive powder brush. And just literally on the cheeks on your forehead and wherever you want to contour then I'm gonna go with the Wee Milani Bake Bronzer in the number 04 Glow and just with that same bronzer brush and just using even this as your highlighter just on the tops of the cheeks And then that's literally all we're going to do. I'm just going to pop on some lip gloss and put a wee brow gel in my eyebrows. I'm just going to use a Primark um, lip liner in the shade Rumour. So this is just like a wee nude brown. Sort of got a wee bit of a pink tone to it. So for during the day, I just use like a wee liner and a clear lip gloss. I just use this wee super stay one, just um, this side of it. And to make sure that that stays on all day until you're able to come home in the evening and top it up again, um, just use a setting spray. So I use this one from Urban Decay, the all nighter one, and it literally, like it's called all nighter for a reason, it literally keeps it on all night. Um, and obviously now we want to keep it on all day, but it will. So just shake that and then spritz it a couple of times over your face. That's the finished product for during the day. So just literally nice coverage matte like bronzy eye and a pair of eyelashes and a clear lip gloss so i've just zoomed you in just to show you how i change this look to a nighttime glam look i go with the p louise secret center palette and just with this wee shade here down at the bottom the very dark brown it's called love struck go in with a peaches and cream fluffy brush pc11 just the one we use for our daytime look no point wasting brushes when we don't have to. So just pack that onto that brush. But also because you have your base done, and um, make sure that there's no excess. So just tapping that off. Then just using that in the outer corner there. Just tapping it in just to make that outer corner darker and more of a nighttime look. And then just bringing that up into the crease and towards the inner part of the brow. Just wipe off any excess and then blend your outer corner with this brush. Just up towards that brow bone. I'm going to go in with the clientele palette and go in with this shade too much. It's sort of like um, a really dark brown, like grey brown colour. Just slightly off the colour black to be honest. Just tapping off any excess and then going in again in the same place. I'm going to use this closer to the lash line just in like a diagonal sort of way. And then brushing it up into the crease. But I'm only going to take this like halfway in. I'm not going to take it the full way in. Just deepen in that outer corner.
So the fluffy brush that we used for the orange shade earlier, I'm just going to use this and I'm going to go in with the shade Fling and Dreamy from the P. Louise palette. Just mixing the orange and the brown shade together just to get um, that outer corner smooth. And just blend them together. The difference, like this is so much more darker and so much more um, deeper. Now that we have blended out our darker shadows, what I like to do to make um, my daytime look more nighttime, shimmer or like a glitter or something like that. Today I'm going to use some shimmers from the palettes that I love with the shade Bronzy from this clientele palette just in the middle section of my eye. I use wee P. Louise Lost in my blend 117 um, brush and just go into that bronzy colour and then just right in the middle section of our eye just place that there. No need to go in with any creams or anything like that. Just blend that into the middle section and then out to the outer section. Going in again with that blending brush that we use the dark shadow with and just making sure that the shimmer and the dark shadows blend it together just want to go with that fluffy brush again and just to make sure that it's completely blended into the inner corner now i'm going in with like a wee like um pencil brush from peach and cream it's a pc39 brush I'm just going to use this for the, my inner corner but not completely my inner corner, just this first half of my eye. And I'm going in with the shade Boss and Luxe. I'm just mixing these two together, just in that first section of the eye. Just blend it in to that bronzy colour that we've put on in the middle section. Blend the both of them together. If you want, you can go in and add um, like a winged liner if you want, but I'm not going to because I prefer for it just to be like a smoky outlook and try and smoke it out um, a little bit. So it's not in like a circle shape as such. Just with a very light hand. And then for our inner corner, I'm just going to use a wee brush that I got from eBay ages ago and go in with the shade Glow Up. And for underneath, literally go in with our shadows that we have done on top right underneath. So I'm going in with that Too Much shade, the darkest shade, right underneath the eye. Don't be afraid to go in with shimmers on your bottom lid. Sometimes I would and sometimes I would, it just depends. But I'm going to go in with the wee bronzy one I have and do it just right along the where I have that darker brown. I'm going in with the brush from um, the Makeup Pro Store, that number 9 one, and just making sure all of that is blended into the skin. I'm going in again with your big massive powder brush just wiping away any excess that has fell on your face. I look crazy right now, but this would be like your more nighttime eye look. This would be your daytime eye look. Although you have the same eyelashes on, there is such a difference. Um, to make this even more like grungier and nighttime, you could put a wee black liner in your waterline or to open your eye up a wee bit more because you have some dark shadows there you can go with like a concealer or like a cream um, coloured liner I like to use a one from Inglot just like a wee skin coloured one just use a wee angled brush and go into the waterline with this
I've just gone in and done my eyeshadow so now to make like the rest of my face a wee bit like more glam I'm just going to go in using more contour and then change the colour of my lips. So just with that wee powder brush just making sure tapping all your face just to make sure everything is like blended from earlier during the day and just a wee bit seamless and easier for you to apply more products on top. So I go in with a wee um, PC15 brush from Peach and Cream, it's just like a like a dome brush and um, it's just perfect for getting into like right at the shadows of your cheekbone. One with the Hula um, Benefit bronzer, just because it's quite like like a grey toned um, bronzer and just literally getting loads of product on that, cutting off just to make sure it's not really dark and just right into the shallow shadows of your cheeks. Do the same on the other side. Just from the tip of your ear to the end of your brow. I like to just pinch the brush and do this down the sides of my nose as well for a nighttime look. My nose is rotten and I really should learn to contour properly but I'm not lazy, I just wing on a wee bit of contour. So I let that settle on my nose because I am going to use a powder brush just to shadow it off. The evening look just to make you look a wee bit more snatched. I just use that darker colour again just right here like beside our eye. Do that on the other side as well. So all blended in. Use your powder brush again. Especially on your nose. So using the big um, fluffy brush that we used for a bronzer earlier, going in with the same bronzer again in MAC Studio Fix MW43, just to bronze up the face a wee bit more. Now we're going to go in with a big fluffy brush. I actually got this one from Primark. It's just uh, oh, it is actually a blush brush, so a tapered blush brush. And I'm going in with the wee Kiko um, blush, right pink, so just tapping it. And then off the excess, and just on the apples of your cheeks. And then bringing it up slightly. I like to blend this blusher out with my favourite L'Oreal Life's a Peach. And um, it's just a wee bit more of like a peachy blush, but it does have like a wee bit of like gold speckles in it. So just using that same brush that you have used onto the apples of the cheeks and then brushing it up towards your contour. And finally, um, just to add to your nighttime look is highlighter. I'm actually just going to go in with the wee highlight from the Carnival palette. Just this wee bronzy coloured one and then I will go in um, with the lighter like peachy pinky coloured one and top up my highlight so just rubbing it in like this tap off any excess and right on like above the apples of your cheek and towards the outer corner of your eye nose on the cupid's bow and a little bit on your chin And I'm actually going to highlight my nose, but just with a wee smaller brush. So using a smudge um, brush, I'm just going to go in to that wee lighter highlight shade. And just use it, just literally in the bridge of my nose. And then the top of my nose. And then just right up here. Just blend it out with our big powder brush. Now that we have that all darkened up and all our highlight done, um, in the evening time, since I've had my makeup on all day, like I like to go in with my um, eyebrow gel again, just to make sure that all them powders that we've reapplied um, are like not making our eyebrows like a lighter colour. 
final step is to change our lip color so throughout the day i just sort of wore like a glossy like nudie pinky color so for the evening time i'm such a like a nude gal i hate red colored lipsticks on myself and everything but like for other people like changing from like a nude lipstick to like a red lipstick or like a really dark lipstick is really nice um, to make sure that it looks like a wee, like night glam look instead of your daytime look. However, I am obsessed with my nudes, so I just go in with like a nudie brown instead of a nudie pink. So this is the Kiko lip liner in the shade 531 with the Jordana um, in the buff. So this is just like a matte nude lip. And then I'll go in with just this wee new lip gloss um, just to make sure that it's not completely matte because my lips are quite dry. To finish off this look today, I'm going to go in with my setting spray as I did um, during the day. Um, as you can see, I kept it on all day, but then now, oh my god, my chair. I'm so sorry. My chair is off. I fucking need a new one. But as you can see, like all the products just blended together again because I didn't go in with more creams. I think if um like if you're doing your makeup during the day and then you're coming to do it again, like just reapply it for the night time. Please do not put cream products or liquid products over um your powders that you've already used. So just like reapplying on your powders and like like building up like more colour um in your eyes or your contour um or just putting on like a different lip colour or different eyelashes or something will make such a difference from your day makeup to your night makeup. So that's my look finished for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and sending all my love.